yeah so uh, welcome back guys uh, this is madhav pvl and uh, today we are going to discuss about the virtual memory in xv6 operating system so uh, what is virtual address space in xv6 so uh, here we are uh, we know that uh, our system is uh, consisting of a 64 bit or 32 bit or whatever it may be uh, do you any time think uh, what is meant by that bit so that's nothing but if it's an 32 bit operating system then uh, it is having 2 power 32 that is equal to 4 gb of virtual address so virtual address what is virtual address so uh, 32 bit consists of 4 gb virtual address 4 gb in the sense 2 to the power of 32 so uh, this is a virtual address which is present in that particular 32 bit operating system and then a uh, process address space is divided into pages as we had discussed it before there's a virtual memory will just uh, divided into pages and then physical memory will be divided into frames so process address space will be divided into pages and every valid logical play page used by the process is mapped to the physical frame so all these uh, so all these virtual pages will be mapped to the physical frame so all this process pages is mapped to physical frame to just uh, locate the details in that particular physical frame so the details which were in this virtual address will be located towards the particular physical frame if it is a valid logical page so page table of a process maps uh, this physical address so a uh, one page entry in table contains physical frame number and then various flags or permissions so page table of a process uh, page table in the sense it consists of the data which is regarding that particular uh, amount of pages so the transition or the switch in between the pages is done with the help of uh, this particular page table so for every process individual page will be created so uh, every individual process for each uh, sorry every individual uh, page for each process so page table of a process maps the physical address so it will contain the data which is regarding that particular physical address so basically one page entry in a table contains so if you just insert one of its virtual pa virtual page into that particular page table then it contains physical frame number and then the second one is various flags or permissions so these two are the major things which were consisted in that particular page table if uh, one page is inserted so the whole virtual address is divided into pages so this whole 4 gb virtual address is divided into uh, some pages so each page each page is initial of 4 kb so each page is initially of a 4 kb so this whole virtual address will be uh, divided into pages so but initial page is of 4 kb so page table in xv6 so the total virtual space is 4 gb as we had discussed it before 2 power 32 total virtual space and whereas the uh, page size is equal to 4 kb is equal to 2 to the power of 12 so basically it takes up to 2 to the power of 20 pages per process so uh, this is a very basic size of that particular page and uh, it may also take 2 to the power of 20 per process so per particular process it may take 2 to the power of 20 uh, actually this is kilobyte and this is a bit so 2 to the 32 is a bit and this is kilobyte so this is smaller than that of that one so that's why 4 kb is smaller than that of uh, 2 power 32 uh, bits so it takes up to 2 to the power of 20 pages at max 2 to the power of 20 uh, page size will be max per process if it is required so page table is a logical array of 2 power 20 page table entries uh, yeah so the page table is a logical array logical array in the sense uh, it will be like a circular queue uh, we know circular queue right so circular queue circular queue will be like this the text pointer will be connected like this so whatever it is again it will be connected back here so it will be like a circular queue so to perform a circular queue uh, actually i think there is only the front process uh, the backward pointer is not required so it is a single linked list maybe i think uh, this is single linked list so uh, now uh, each pte 
sorry the page table is a logical array so this is an array in a circular queue of 2 to the power of 20 page table entries so each page table entry has 20 bit physical frame number and some flags so uh, this is a physical frame so it is divided into two parts right so this will be uh, uh, one second so this will be a physical frame and then this will be the data sorry uh, the flag should be written here in this a uh, physical frame itself we will just define the flags so the flags and the physical frame will be in that particular uh, first one and then the remaining 12 bits are the uh, data so as we had discussed it before the whole thing is 32 the 32 is divided into 20 plus 12 20 is a physical frame and then uh, 12 is a data so 20 is a physical frame and then 12 is data so basically this is the thing so 20 is a physical frame and 12 is the data so uh, some of the important flags so this flag should be defined right so the flag definitions are some of the important flag definitions are these three three things so pte page table entry p is pages present so page table entry w that is our pages writable page table entry u it uh, the pages are user page so these are basically some of the important flags and then uh, yeah uh, so basically these are the three most important flags uh, that we can just see in this particular physical frame and then address translation so this plays a major role in this particular virtual memory so we need to just uh, translate the address right so basically the address is the most important thing for any operating system to access that particular file so how is this virtual address gets translated into that particular physical frame so by using that 20 bit uh, virtual frame to index into page table so here we had just discussed it so this is uh, the 20 bit one so this 20 bit is a physical frame so find the physical frame number and add 12 bit offset so here uh, as we had discussed it this is a physical frame but actually this is not the physical frame so here if we just get into this address translation so this will be a virtual uh, thing so this will be a virtual address space so uh, according to this virtual address space in that particular page table so it will just search for that particular physical frame so it will just search for that particular physical frame and then it will just add this particular uh, 12 bit offset data to that particular uh, physical frame so by considering this 20 bit virtual address it will just add the uh, whole 12 bit data into that particular uh, physical frame uh, which is uh, which has an address regarding this 20 bit virtual space so basically the page lay page table is of two level so two level page table so two to the power of 20 page table entries can't be stored contiguously right so basically 2 power 20 page tables can't be stored uh, continuously so that's why they have two levels that is inner level and the outer level so 2 to the power of 10 inner pages with 2 to the power of 10 page level page table entries so it will be divided into half so outer page table is of 2 power 10 which act as a directory which stores the page table entries like references so basically the outer table will just store the uh, things like uh, the reference the addresses of the things which were in that particular inner table so the inner level data as addresses and the references will be stored in that particular outer level so the outer table will be stored as a physical address in cpus uh, registers used by the memory management unit uh, during translation so basically a uh, 32 bit virtual address 10 bit for index into page 10 bit outer to inner page 12 bit are offset within the page so i will just uh, discuss this so basically uh, this 32 bit will be divided into these three categories uh, in these three categories uh, actually this 20 bit is getting converted into 10 each so 10 will just give the index into that particular page and the other 10 will just give the outer to inner page so from the outer to inner page uh, it need to have something right so index into the page so this will have the index to the outer page so from the outer page it will it need to just get into the inner page right so this 10 bits is for the index to outer page this 10 bits is used for the outer to inner page and this 12 bits are the data which is uh, within this particular page 
so basically with the help of this page directory it will just get into this uh, inner page so first it will just get into this inner page table and it will just search for that particular frame in this inner page and it will just get that uh, particular data from that so this is the way uh, it is going to just allocate the thing from that particular word uh, virtual space to the physical frame and then the process virtual address space in xv6 so basically uh, virtual address space in xv6 will be like uh, virtual address in the sense uh, it shouldn't have any particular end so the physical frames will have a particular end to that particular memory but uh, the virtual address need to produce the day uh, memory how much it is required so uh, it uh, it depends upon that uh, particular operating system so it need to just produce the virtual address whenever it is required so it shouldn't cause any interrupt so memory image of a process starting at an address 0 has code or data and then guard for that particular uh, code or data and then stack and heap so stack is nothing but uh, the code uh, which we had just discussed the step by step execution of that particular code will be done in this particular stack so the step by step execution will be done in the stack and the heap is nothing but the temporary variables or the uh, ml lock uh, so a lock so those things which we will just allocated that particular instant so those things will be in that particular heap so stack is a step by step execution and then heap is a nothing but uh, the things which were created at that particular instant so these are the things which were involved in this particular virtual address space and then this is a guard which will help for the stack in heap to not access that particular code or data if it is not required so here the guard will just allow that particular stack or heap to just access the code or data whenever it is required only at that particular time itself so other times uh, the heap or stack cannot access that particular code or data so code or data in the sense it contains the code the kernel code the kernel code will be contained in there and the free pages which were uh, given by the kernel so if once the page uh, work is if the once the page data has been removed or cleared then it will be converted as a free page so free pages by the kernel and then some space for io modules so input output modules some space will be given for the io modules in that particular code or data so page table of a process it contains two sets of page table entries that is user entry map to virtual address kernel entry map to virtual address here uh, both things will access this virtual address because the user need to just enter the code he need to just give that particular stack right so for giving that particular stack uh, he will just use that virtual address and then kernel will just use the virtual address for the purpose of heap so it need to just uh, give the uh, mlloc function so whatever it is required so it need to just extend right so kernel entry is the virtual address for that purpose whereas the processes can access the memory mapped by page table so processes can also access the memory mapped by the uh, page table so different page table for each day each uh, process so there should be a context switch so as a not only one process is executing in that particular operating system there will be different number of processes that are being executed at that particular uh, time so there should be some context switch in between the processes uh, so that it requires to run different pages so for that reason uh, we are just using this page table this page table will consist of different pages and with the help of that it will just access how many pages it is required so os uh, page table mappings so basically os code or data stretches are a part of that virtual address space of every process so uh, code or data stretches are the part of virtual address space of every process so every process will have this particular code or data whether the code or data is not present or not so actually uh, that is a very wrong statement so without code or data the process any processes uh, can't be executed right so code or data is a must and should any in uh, any particular process so os code will be only one copy but mapped into all process page tables so os code will be only one copy but it it can be mapped into all process page tables so all process page tables will have that particular os code so os code is nothing but the predefined code uh, which can be accessed by uh, every process or page tables so kernel mappings are identical in all processes because uh, the kernel will work like 
the kernel doesn't know what is the process so it doesn't know the internal structure of that particular process right so kernel will just work uh, like uh, the normal process like uh, if we can just say uh, the teacher will just uh, teaches the class in that uh, particular classroom but uh, they will not just consider the every student right so te teacher will just teach the class by considering the whole strength so the kernel also does the same so it will just uh, the mappings are identical by considering the all processes it doesn't show any uh, special for any particular process so if we turn uh, memory management unit and paging concepts on them we can access the uh, physical memory only through the virtual memory so without the help of this particular virtual memory uh, we can't just access the physical memory because once if the data is being allocated in the physical memory then uh, that should be the major thing so the final thing should be uh, done in this physical memory because the uh, accessing of a physical memory will be a bit tough so accessing of a physical memory is a bit tough but accessing of virtual memory is a bit easy when compared to that physical memory so that's why without accessing the virtual memory uh, we can't just uh, directly get into that physical memory so the page table contains the access to the os code if trap occurs else we need to create another page so the page table contains access to the os code <coughs> So every page table contains access to the OS code. If the trap occurs, trap occurs in the sense if that particular code is not uh, having access. So if that particular page is not having access to that particular OS code, then the trap occurs. So then we need to just create uh, some another page and we need to just access the OS code. So here we can just see this uh, virtual and virtual space. So this is a 2 GB virtual space and it is just accessing this particular uh, physical address. So physical address will be like uh, 0 to PHY stop, <coughs> fee stop. So here yeah, it can be considered like this. So this is 0 to uh, 2 GB data and this 0 to uh, physical stop. So all the virtual space will be mapped towards the physical address which contains the code, uh, data, IO devices, mostly free pages. All the virtual space will be mapped towards the physical address. Uh, which contains the code data IO devices and mostly free spa free pages so assigning the free pages to the particular process so this is also one of the major thing in this particular uh, virtual uh, memory allocations so basically the pages uh, shouldn't be free all time so they should be assigned with some other particular process else uh, the pages will not be sufficient to complete the processes which would occurred in that particular operating system so if we just consider the physical frame p to the kernel space at v virtual address so when user access the kernel it will assign to that virtual address v so same frame p is mapped twice into the page table so physical frame p uh, is accessed to that uh, kernel space whereas if user access the kernel it will assign this virtual address so here the virtual address is being accessed by both uh, kernel and the user at the same time so it will be mapped twice into that particular page table so every byte of ram consumes two bytes of virtual address so xp6 can access 2 gb of ram since 32 bit uh, virtual address is 4 gb so here the half will be consumed by this uh, uh, virtual address so half ram half ram will be consumed by this virtual address so half ram uh, this 2 gb the things which were in this particular virtual address are temporary so they will not be permanent uh, things so they will be uh, removed after every single process so they will not be any particular things in that particular uh, in this uh, virtual address so all the things in this virtual address are temporary so maintaining free memory it will boot up the RAM uh, then contains the OS code data uh, and free pages. So OS code and data will be permanent. So OS code and data in the sense uh, the things which are required for that particular process will be there and then it will just boot up the RAM then it contains free pages. So free pages are into this particular list which is a linked list pointed to the previous uh, free pages. So kernel maintains the pointer to the first page in the list so came in free list. So this is a pointer which is uh, pointing towards the first page of that particular link list. So if you just see here, the this is the uh, uh, the thing. So this is an algorithm. So struct run. So struct run next. 
so next will be a pointer so the here it is considering as a single linked list so it will have only next pointer there will not be any previous so struct spin lock lock so spin lock in the sense the thing uh, which is going to rotate so int use lock so we are just using the lock so struct run free list so it is going to run the free list and then uh, kmm uh, so it is going to just stop that particular process so a lock and free operations so anyone who needs a free page calls kelloc sets free list pointer to the next page and returns the first page on the list so this is done with the help of this kelloc when the memory needs to be freed up uh, k free free uh, adds free page to the head of the free list update the free list pointer so this is a code which is regarding this particular uh, al alloc so basically these thing uh, is not required so kmn dot free list here r is nothing but it is accessing that particular page so if r so if r is nothing but if it is if r is containing the free list then kmn dot free list is equal to r next so it is going to just point out the next thing so it is just uh, uh, moving that particular pointer to the next one so it is just moving this uh, kmn to the next one next page so if kmn dot use lock so use lock in the sense if the r is not taking that particular page then release the kmn lock so no work is done return care as so this will be a bit complex if you just read that particular code you will just get some clarity so this is about the uh, free operation so free operation in the sense uh, r dot next is equal to kmn free list so it is going to just add that particular r r in the sense the uh, free list which we had just used it so we are just going to add that particular into this kmn dot free list so kmn dot free list is equal to r if it is use lock release kmn dot lock so if you just uh, go in deep we are just going to know about this particular operations so uh, i think uh, you might have got some uh, knowledge after watching this particular virtual memory allocations so thank you